other things I've been working on lately has been testing out new 24H2 boot images. And for those of you that don't know, the minute you add in a boot image in Config Manager that doesn't match the ADK version that you have installed, guess what? You cannot do customizations to it through the GUI anymore. At least some customizations you cannot do in the GUI anymore. So if I have an older ADK version like this one here, but smack in a new boot image with a newer version, well, I'm missing a few of the tabs that you have available. And this is what it normally would look like. But luckily, with a healthy dose of PowerShell, you can do everything that you need to do anyway. So what I was doing here was I have a one of my lab servers. This one is running uh, ADK uh, for Windows 11 22H2. So this version here, that's the 22H2 version. But as you can see, I have added in a, a boot image that has a much higher version of the ADK, so 26100. And in order to work with that one, I had to uh, stole, borrowed uh, a little bit of lines from, from Mike Terrell. Uh, has been writing a lot of scripts, creating boot images lately, but, but long story short, I'm specifying where I have my boot image and I'm adding in, I'm mounting it and I'm adding in all the components that I want to have in it, uh, a few, uh, as you do. And then in the very end of it, uh, do a component cleanup dismount the image, and then tell in Config Manager to customize it. So in this case, I simply wanted to add in F8 support uh, for, for troubleshooting, and I want to add in a custom background image. So I had to do that through WMI. But that allows you to side-by-side -side test different version of the boot images. And Alex over on Twitter uh, was, was complaining earlier this week about, all right, drivers seems to be a little bit more picky in 24H2 compared to the earlier versions. Uh, still early testing of that one, but uh, that's something to look out for and, and to verify. So what I do recommend, don't jump to this version right away for your entire production fleet. Uh, go ahead and add in, like I did here, a, a test image or two. Make a few copies of your sequences, configure them to use this one, and start to try it out figure out that all the drivers that you need to have working are working and everything else. So that was why I was spending some, some time on. Uh, some other things that I'll be hopefully finishing up uh, tonight if, if all goes well. I've uh, been working on a video for uh, setting up the REST PS web service, uh, which is a PowerShell driven web service, uh, basically from a client side, you can very simply ask a server side component to do something. Ask a database for something, ask Active Directory for something, ask Config Manager for something, MDT for something, or why not one of the many cloud services available without having to have all that authentication uh, running on the client itself, but rather tell the client to, you know what, go and hand it over to someone else that someone else does the job, and that is in the, the REST PS service. So uh, yeah, if all goes well, it will be published this evening. Awesome, looking forward to that. I've heard you talk about it quite a bit uh, over the years, so excited to see what you've got there. <laughs>